very worst job of all is an incredibly disgusting and very ancient one, and one that underlies the very symbol of royalty itself, the purple maker. Purple has been the colour of royalty since Roman emperors, because it's so difficult and expensive to make. I am a purple maker's assistant, and this is a worse job that disappeared during the siege of Constantinople when all the purple makers were wiped out. So we reckon that this is the first time in over 500 years that this particular process has been demonstrated, don't we, Jim? Yeah, that's quite true. Yes. One of the shortcomings of television is that you can't smell the incredible niff that's coming off this rather disgusting mess. Mm. Why are we killing all these innocent shellfish? <laughs> Well, this, Tony, is the basis of the, of the whole of the uh, imperial purple industry. This was the dye, the most prestigious dye in, 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 uh, in the world, in fact. The Romans, of course, made it an imperial monopoly, and this went on right into the Middle Ages, in actual fact. So how do you make it out of these things? Yes, well, basically, we have the, the, the mollusks, this is the, the uh, murex trunculus, and what we have to do is to make an incision into what, in fact, is the hypobranchial gland, um, and when we've done that, uh, the, the, the dye or the precursor comes out and the air, in fact, oxidizes it uh, to the purple pigment. Uh, but of course, the, the old dyes had to do this on a vast scale and uh, this involved, in fact... Oh! <laughs> now, I really to... didn't know you were going to do that. <laughs> don't hit it too hard, otherwise yeah. you get all the entrails over the floor. Yeah. Don't tell me, it was you who so, whacked it. Uh, that's the technique. Yeah. So, uh, we'll have to work through these. I've kept these on one side. Uh, I've done those for you previously. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, that's the idea. Smashing a few stinking shellfish is stomach turning enough, but the purple makers had to smash at least a thousand to dye just one cloak. I can understand why only royalty could afford it. <laughs> and put them into the pot. God, doesn't it affect you? Well, no, perhaps I'm used to it. <laughs> there we are, and some more over there. We, those we did earlier, of course. So now these will be put into the water and then eventually to get the actual dye it takes about 10 days fermentation. Come on. <laughs> in here like this. That's it. This is in order to extract the dye or the pigment yep. from the uh, macerated mollusks. How much water do you want? That's about right. Yep. Then the dye will... Now stand for an hour or two to collect pigment in liquid add wood ash for its alkali, and leave the putrefying shellfish to we rot and stink for really ten back whole back days. Because you want it to ferment, and so that's what we've got here. Yeah. Now you notice we have a lid on it. Why is uh, that? Well basically we want to keep it in the dark. Uh, otherwise what happens is that the, the light, in fact, can, can, can uh, break the dye down to what we call debrominate it. In other words, we take the redness out and we end up with a blue. So we can end up with this colour as opposed to that one. How do we know when this is ready? And this will be tested, in fact, either by, by the feel, which feels slippery, or by the taste. And this is shellfish that have been fermenting for ten days. Exactly, yep. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, wow, that was bad out there. No! It's just powerful stuff. That is really it? disgusting. Yeah. And what happens when you feel it? What do you, uh, if you it feels feel slippery, it? this gives an idea of the degree of, of alkalinity. Mm. If it was acid, it would be rougher. That's the technique. Oh. And then they really taste it. And the other way is to taste it, in fact. It's... <laughs> I don't know. It's all powerful. I don't know what it tasted like. It's just a thought, really. It's so disgusting. Only having done the fermented mollusk taste test, is it now time to put the cloth in the vat, lid firmly back on. So we should leave, leave it really for half an hour or so to um, to pick up the dye. I'll leave it till I'm dead, if you like. Mm. Oh, that was an adventure. Blimey. And after half an hour, it's time to expose the cloth to the air and see if it's worked. Oh, look! Wow. That's really changing fast, isn't it? So when it comes out of the, the vat, uh, it takes usually a couple of minutes. It goes a greeny colour and then slowly turns the purple colour, as you can see. 
Look at that now, isn't that fantastic? We've really proved the process works. So the lives of all these poor little foul-smelling shellfish weren't sacrificed in vain. And if it hadn't been for all the stirring and the bubbling and the feeling and the tasting, then our royals would never have been swathed in all this kind of stuff. They'd have been dressed in fuchsia pink or lime green. Yeah.